tracks today. Hi guys, welcome to my first video of this coaster review series I'm doing on this channel. In this series I'm going to review coasters that I've written and give my overall thoughts on them. So for the first content of this series, I thought I'd start off easy by reviewing the Mick Dohan's Motor Coaster, or Motor Coaster for short, and give my honest opinion about it. So this coaster is located at Dream World in Australia, so it's not too far away from me. It was, it's a 2017 addition to the park. Uh, and I think it was the second uh, newest roller coaster. Uh, it's a uh, Interman family launch coaster, which I think it was the first. And I've really made a lot, but it was the first one, so that's interesting. Uh, it has a length of 1,984.9 foot, so it's almost 2,000 foot long. It has a height of 23 feet, so it's obviously more to the, more to the ground coaster. Uh, and it has a speed of 44.7 miles per hour which is about six I think 70 uh, kilometers per hour so first impressions uh, you walk up to the entrance you see to your left you see the pit stop well, that's called it's obviously just the gift shop uh, you enter from the right um, and you once you get in line you'll see it's, it's got some decent theme it's themed obviously I guess obviously uh, the motorsport um, with you know bikes and stuff and you know, I guess some trophies and has some model bikes in there. Um, so you know, it has okay theming. Uh, so you get up to the boarding station, uh, and the first thing you'll notice is the restraints. Now, I'll give it this. All right, it's very unique restraints. I'll give it that. Very unique. I don't think any kind of. I'm probably maybe the uh, Vacoma motor coasters or whatever they call it maybe has them, but these are weird restraints. Um, so what I mean by this, you, you, it's kind of hard to explain, but they pretty much have, like, uh, like, it, you kind of, like, fold a little bit on, like, a motorbike kind of themes. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but pretty much it's very uncomfortable, is all you need to know. There's also, like, a, a back restraint, also, which hurts, um, so if you think your back's not going to break, well, now it will. Uh, and if you're, if you're a tall person, this this ride's not really that comfortable. Um, like my my knees just start hurting uh, after I get off this ride, and I try to stress. It's really annoying. Um, anyways, I have either than that. Uh, let's talk about the launch. Now the launch uh, is pretty good actually. It's um, I think you, it's a pretty short launch. I think it's probably less than two seconds. You hit the top speed of four four point seven mph. Um, but yeah, the launch is pretty good. That's probably the best part of the ride, to be honest. So, you launch out, you go into the first turn. Now, this coaster is more like a spaghetti bowl type coaster. Um, so, you go into the first turn, you hit probably the highest point you ever uh, hit in the ride. Um, and uh, you just go through a couple bank turns, you go through a little airtime hill, which you think you're going to get airtime, but you don't because the restraints are awful. Um, and you just go through some, I guess, nice bank turns. They're pretty drawn out, though. It's not like Jack Rescue, where they're very whippy and very nice intimate twistiness. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's, it's you know, it's decently long uh, coaster. It's about 40 seconds, I think. I'm not too sure. But yeah, it really does lo lose speed really quickly, and that's what I don't really like about this coaster. Um, you know, it's 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 alright. You know, it's a, it's a good addition to the Park of Dream Mode when they... Uh, when I opened it, especially because I kind of needed a family coaster because uh, Escape from Madagascar is garbage. So, I mean, at least it's something. But, you know, I'd rather want something better, if you know what I mean. But, you know, because it was kind of, I wouldn't say it was like a concept, but it kind of was because it was the first, like, intimate, uh, family orientated tire launch coaster. Anyways, that is it for a little review um, on this coaster. Let me know what you think of this coaster, if you've ridden it or not. Um, and my overall out of 10 thoughts on it, I'll probably give it like a 5.5. It's a very average coaster. Uh, definitely, I mean, let's think, let's face it, like, if it wasn't for the motor coaster, I don't think Jet Rescue would have existed. So we're going to get a props for that. Anyways, guys, hope you guys do enjoy, and I'll see you guys later.